All right. Justin, you've lived through this before, but what your uh, kind of reaction to Russell being replaced by Jarrett Stidham? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, anytime decisions like this are made, the first thing I think about is uh, what could I have done better to help? And, um, you know, I never want to see anyone, um, you know, lose their job in a sense. And so, you know, from my perspective defensively, I just wish there was more, um, you know, that we could have done to be able to help. And Russ has been a great teammate. He's been an amazing person, as you all know. And, um, you know, this is, you know, not the end for him by any means. And so, um, you know, also with that being said, I'm, um, I know Stidham's going to do a great job. And, uh, you know, he's been doing great in practices, as you guys heard Coach Payton say. And um, I always had the chance to watch him, you know, a little bit last year when he played with uh, Vegas. And so, um, yeah, I know this, you know, it's a, it's a tough thing. And, um, you know, you hate to see it. What about um, losing Kareem as a teammate going back to Houston? Yeah, I think uh, – that's tough too, um, you know that, and that one's bittersweet. Obviously, for me, I, you know, selfishly, I'd want him here, and I think he, uh, you know, he helps our team in, in so many different ways. But, um, you know, selflessly, I'm, I'm happy for him because he, he gets to go back to his, the team that drafted him. Um, that's where his home is, and uh, he's going to go in and play. You know, and um, obviously, the Texans are a little far, a little bit ahead of us in terms of the playoff picture, and. Um, so he's going to be playing some some big time ball for them, and, and he can still do it. So, um, you know, selfishly, I want him here, but I, I am excited for him, and and I know he's going to do uh, great things for for Houston. Justin, how, how important is it? Sean was just saying this decision was made to to win football game that <laughs> win football games now. How critical is it in your mind to to win these last two, finish the right way, and have some momentum going into the off season? Yeah, no, it's extremely important, um, and you know. I don't know the percentages and whatever it looks like, but I know if we win, you know, these 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 next two, the biggest one being the the game against the Chargers on Sunday, um, you know, we did all we could do, you know, at this point in time right now. So um, it's going to be important too to just end this on a positive at home. You know, there's been ups and downs throughout this season. You know, a rough start. You know, a nice little stretch of run uh, of winning games in the middle. Then I know the last few weeks haven't been great. So. You know, for us, I think ending things on the right note, um, you know, leaving leaving that stadium with high hopes, you know, going into next year, I think uh, I think that'll be a huge positive for us and, you know, a goal that I want to hit. Justin, you ever feel like there just isn't anything you won't see in your time here? It just feels like there's always some kind of... Something going on? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, now that you mentioned it, I didn't even think about that, but... Uh, yeah, it you know it just it just kind of comes and it's actually it's actually ironic because it something that we talk about all the time on the field you know it, it expects the unexpected and uh, you know prepare for every situation and you know you just you never know when when the adversity is going to hit or what it's going to look like and so um, I, not anything that you know I don't think this team can handle and you know as I said before man Russ has been great for us and. Um, it's it's just unfortunate things you know don't work out and sometimes they don't and that that's not a shot at him as a player it's not a shot at him as a person um, I just think you know there are times where things just don't work out and it's just how it is you know similar to Kareem you know it's just unfortunate he you know he had those penalties and um, you know PJ steps in and, and is playing really great ball and um, and Kareem can still play you know so there's just things like that happen and uh, but like I said you know I'm, so still supporting Russ. Um, you know, Russ is still uh, one of our teammates, one of our brothers. So still going to support him, but at the same time, still going to show support for for Stiddy and um, for this team. You know, going in to get a win on Sunday. Since K. Jack, since since Green was such a leader, do you feel like you need to take even more of a leadership role on defense and in that secondary room, or do you feel like that's already established? There? Yeah, I think there's definitely a uh, avoided uh, leadership role that that I'll have to step up and 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 uh, integrate, you know, a little bit more into my leadership style. But, and also with that, I think at us as a room, it's very similar to like when a player goes down, it's not on that guy's replacement to fully fill that void. It's on the other 10 guys around him to help. And so um, as the leader in the room, of course, you know, I'm gonna take, um, you know, the, the blunt of that leadership as I should, but there's other guys in there, PJ being one of them, he's been around for a while and guys respect his play, have respected his play before this season. <laughs> And um, he'll continue to do great things and step up leadership wise. So will Pat, um, you know, and there's other guys too. So we'll just continue to keep, to 
keep ironing that out, ironing that out in our room and just continue to get better. Yes, and I know there's a narrow path to the playoffs still, but even if you don't get there, getting to nine and eight would end that string of losing seasons. Is that meaningful? Would that be meaningful to you? Yeah, I. Uh, um, it's, I don't. For me, it's not as simple as a yes or no. I think for yeah, yes, like it would be nice to obviously end the season on a positive. You know, nine and eight is a positive, but I'm I I really just want to get to the postseason. Um, I think that that to me. I don't think a nine and eight season is not successful, but I'd also think, you know, going to the playoffs, um, especially with all that we've been through and, um, you know, being counted out and, you know, the guys that we have in there, knowing how hard they fought, that to me would be, I would, I would deem that as, as a success for the regular season. And then, you know, having our chance to kind of fight, fight for that spot in the postseason. But uh, by no means do I think nine and eight is, is not a successful year. Um, I just think, you know, we could do better. Thank you. Thank you.